Bedfordshire has a local elections coming up shortly and we're here today in Ampthill talking to people who live here and also a local candidate to find out what their views on politics are at the moment. You're already a town councillor for Ampthill, why have you taken the step to become a a central Bedfordshire councillor? Um, I've decided to stand for the Central Bed Council because on Amptel Town Council you're obviously limited in what you can do and our powers are not very great so the big issues facing Amptel we can't make the decisions at Amptel Town Council so I thought well why don't I stand for the Central Bedford Council so that's what I've decided to do. And uh, what are your thoughts on the Central Bedfordshire Council as opposed to the County Council? No, no, I'm for it. I went to an executive meeting yesterday to see it in action. And I think, you know, the Central Bedford Council is going to be a good thing for, for all of us. And you're standing as an independent. What are your thoughts about the um, state of the, the political parties at the moment? Well, I purposely decided to stand as an independent because on Amtel Town Council, it's non-political and it seems to work very well. So I thought actually at this level, at local um, level, it's much better to be non-political so we can really fight for what people of Amptill and Milbrook want rather than get involved in the petty politics of party politics. I mean, obviously, it's a, you know, at the national level, it's a complete shambles. And I hope that actually people will come out and vote and not be afraid. And as an independent, you know, they have a good option. Paul, it's really great to see you here in Amptill. Why are you here? Um, I'm here to support Guilain Pascal, who's, uh, who, who's looking to be an independent um, councillor here. Um, and I, I knew Guilain, oh, I've known him for many years, he was my wife's agent, and uh, he's done a few things for me as well. And he's, he's very diligent, and uh, he just seems to be able to juggle a lot of balls, and he's always very actively interested in lots, lots of different things. And they're good credentials, I think, to be a councillor. And do you have a background anyway of being a Bedfordshire born and bred? Can you tell us a bit about that? I do, yeah. Which is why it's quite nice that he's that somebody I know has come back into Bedfordshire. Um, but I was born and raised in Luton. Um, and I worked at Vauxhall Motors. I know Millbrook's up the road. I actually used to I used to make the carburetors that they tested out at Millbrook. That was my job when I was working there. Um, and uh, my parents still live in Stopsley. Actually, Luton's got a great uh, music scene. I don't know whether you're aware of it. The Hat Factory and all sorts of things happening around there. And, and the new Carnival Arts Centre. Didn't know you... So. Ah, yes. In fact, uh, I, we, uh, I've had a Tex-Mex band for 17 years now. And they've approached us to do something for the Carnival. So that might happen. Um, so I did know about that. And also my cousins have been telling me about uh, some gigs that they've been going to recently that are in the area. Do you feel that local politics have an important place then in the, in the community? Um, I think less so in the community. Um, you know, it's um, we all worry about what we read in the Telegraph every day at the moment. And so I think there's a natural distrust of politicians. So I guess that somehow they've got to get their message across, haven't they, that they actually are doing a good job. Yeah. And Well, you know, I've always voted and... I vote for the individual. I like to know what an individual person stands for before what their party or whatever else, because I think, you know, that's more important, that the person has integrity and uh, will follow through on what they believe in. Here I am talking to Dean and Stephen, who are at school locally. Um, tell me, what are your thoughts on politics at the moment, Dean? Uh, I think, well, Gordon Brown's done quite a bad job with the country, like his politics and his, like... The way he's running things is quite bad. Uh, it's not. He's not really done a good job. He's let uh, quite, quite a lot of people down. What about your thoughts on politicians as a whole, not just Gordon Brown? Uh, I think they're quite good. Like they, they make good decisions for the countries, uh, for the country. They, well, yeah, they run it. That's quite a good job. Okay. If you were able to vote, Stephen, what would you do? Yeah, um, I'd believe I would vote because I think every vote counts and. If there's, because you could just win by one, that could be your uh, vote. So, I believe you could, should. Even though there's a lot of bad press about politics and politicians at the moment, it's good to know that people here in Amptill still think it's worth voting. And with the central Bedfordshire elections coming up shortly, we hope there'll be a really good turnout. This is Judy Oliver from Local News TV.